If all goes according to plan, Boeing will launch its first ever space flight with humans next week. The Starliner spacecraft will lift off from Florida Monday night for a multi-day mission to the International Space Station. It will be the second time NASA is launching a private spacecraft through its commercial crew program. The first was SpaceX Crew Dragon in 2020. For more on this cutting edge mission, I'm joined by Commander Barry Butch Wilmore and pilot Sonny Williams. Both are also seasoned astronauts for NASA. Let me ask you both first with you, Sonny, um, how does it feel right before this historic launch? Yeah, John, great question. You know, we're here at the air uh, crew quarters in Kennedy Space Center just getting ready. Um, it's, uh, you know, of course, a little bit nerve wracking, but at the same time, really exciting. You know, this everybody's ready. We've trained for a long time, so I, I feel like we're ready. Right, Butch? I am, yeah, we're ready. <laughs> now, Butch, there have been some, uh, a little bit of push. They're, they've been, uh, put the, the, the launch has been pushed back a little bit, technical issues. Um, how do you think about technical issues? Do they... Do they get kind of solved and it diminishes, or is there a chance there might be again? And is it just that that's the cost of doing business? Well, I can tell you from the, all the issues, the technical issues that we've encountered, uh, we're better off for having found them. It's, a, it's actually been progression. People say these are setbacks. I don't think that's a, the right term because uh, when you find these issues, you want to uncover them now. Uh, and we have on these on several occasions, as you, as you mentioned. And, but we are progressing forward, and this is a much better spacecraft because of the issues that we find. And that's what TEST is all about. This is a test mission. We've been doing tests for years in the simulator. And that's where we found some of the, some of the things that have been rectified. And we expect to find some things as well on this flight test. Um, but uh, as we go through it step-by-step -step methodical with all of our ground teams, we're ready for just about any contingency that could arise. And so, Sonny, let's not focus on technical issues. Let's focus on the itinerary once you get going. What is, what's on the to-do list? Yeah, so the, the flight is all, like Butch said, a big test. So on our way up to the space station, after uh, we get to orbit, we have a bunch of test points um, that we'll be flying and looking at the spacecraft. Uh, we wake up the next morning and we rendezvous with the International Space Station, and we'll be trying out the controls there, also making sure it flies like we plan it to fly. We'll dock to the International Space Station, and once we get the hatch open, uh, we'll be working with the International Space Station crew, checking out our spacecraft, making sure it's ready for its next flight when it flies in about a year from now with four people. So we want to test all that out, make sure it's a good safe haven. It's a good rescue boat for those guys when they're up here for a long duration mission. And then we'll undock and we'll do some more test points to check out our backup system to make sure that if we have any malfunctions, we'll be ready to handle it and land in a precise landing where we're, where we're supposed to come down. Which, as I understand it, you're also a pastor in your church. How does being up in space affect your view uh, of your religiosity and the creator and all that batch of issues? Hey, John, that's a great question. I, you know, the heavens declare the glory of God. And I've having been to space a couple of times. Uh, it's pretty amazing to look back on, on this planet that Isaiah told that uh, this planet, this earth was created to, to provide, you know, support human life. And that's what it's all about. It's a process of uh, redemption that the God's word calls us to uh, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. And uh, I appreciate you asking that question. And, and it is an amazing place to view uh, this beautiful creation from. And Sonny, uh, uh, that question to you also, that sense of wonder, you know, the rest of us can only dream about the extraordinary experience you have. And I also want to ask, I'm going to tag on a question, which is I understand you ran the Boston Marathon up, up in space. Anything planned like that uh, this time around? Uh, I uh, Well, first off, I would agree with Butch. I mean, there's no better view of our beautiful planet than from space. I wish everybody had the opportunity to take a, a lap. I think we'd all be a lot nicer to each other if we did that. <laughs> and it's just incredible and, you know, changes your perspective about really what's important. Um, what's not important this time around is running the Boston Marathon up in space. Thank God it already happened uh, last month in, in April. It, it was great when I did it. Um, I'm a little bit older now. I, I do a little bit of other work. I have a lot of CrossFit friends that I uh, want to give a shout out to because, uh, you know, the, the bones and the, and the muscles get a little achy as you get a little older. So marathons. Uh, might be in my past, but maybe maybe when I get back on Earth, we'll see if we could do it again. <laughs> is that true in zero gravity too? By the way, the the achiness of age does it affect us the same way in when when you're up in space? Uh, space is an amazing place. Um, 
we do have resistive exercise devices that we use. And it's amazing how quickly the body recovers without the force of gravity always pulling on it. Uh, you work out one day, you feel sore for a couple hours, but by the next day, you're ready to go again. It's a great place to be as far as that physical sense uh, when you put that pressure on the body. It's, it's fabulous. And Sonny, final question to you. Um, let's say to our younger viewers who want to be an astronaut one day, you got any advice for them? I, I think the biggest thing I could tell them is why not? You know, there are so many opportunities out there. Uh, you know, not only with NASA, but with all of the space industry out there. It's so exciting. There's so many things happening at such a rapid pace. Uh, get involved. And, uh, you know, we're doing things that are bigger than anybody could ever imagine. You know, this is just the stepping stone to going back to the moon and living there sustainably. So, you know, get involved. It's, it's really fun. It's really interesting. It, it really gets your mind going and gives you a bigger picture about what's important. Well, thank you both for letting us attach our sense of wonder to your trip. Thank you, John. Sonny Williams and Butch Wilmore, thank you both for joining me. Go Starliner.